Now I'm joined here by Longford Town Manager Gary Cronin following tonight's nil-all draw with three United at Bishop's Gate. Gary, give us your thoughts after that performance tonight. Look, we're disappointed we didn't come out with three points. Thought we created enough chances to win the game. Um, look, overall we have to take the positives out. It's another clean sheet that we build on. I know we're not conceding many goals, which is great. To be fair, the three did a couple of chances there themselves in the game and um, could have went the other way. But look, they're a hard team to break down sometimes. I think it was evident enough that we're trying to find ways and scenarios to try and create chances and, and, and break them down. They were quite compact and sitting in, letting us have the ball in their own half. Um, so, yeah, look, I mean, we'll, t- we'll take our clean sheet and move on. It's just a little bit disappointing we couldn't prepare for one of the chances. And we'll as, you, as you said, they are hard to break down and it goes with the stats. You know, they're unbeaten in seven, we're now unbeaten in six. So they aren't a t- an easy team to beat and, and they've proven that. The stats show that and, and as are we. But as you said, you know, you have to take the positives from the game. You know, we created opportunities, we just didn't take them. We move on now to a big, massive game next week away to Cork. Yeah, and hopefully... Look, I, I, I was saying to myself last night, we've scored in every game, by the first game of the season, which is a positive. Um, great chances tonight to score. It doesn't always work that way in football. That's the game. Um, best teams in the world can create loads of chances and, and not compare it sometimes. I'm not saying we're one of the best teams in the world, but, you know, we will still work, work on trying to create those moments. And uh, we had enough of them tonight, I think, to score a goal. So... But it was important that we didn't give one away on the other end. And, um, you know, obviously Luke, Luke came up trumps again with uh, 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 two good saves. But it's done now. We take the positives out of it and we, we, we look towards Cork. And we're going down there in a, in, a, in, in a game or in a fixture where, you know, we're competing. Um, we're going to be obviously competing against Cork at Turnage Cross. Tough ask for the lads, but that's why they play football to play in games like this. So we look forward to that. Cork are the team to be um, Bray were the team to be for us on Monday we did that with a, a good help for, of a travelling support mm. how did that affect the players you know having them there cheering the team on in the closing stages you'll need that going to Cork as well on Friday yeah we'd love to have that going to Cork as best people can to travel down and support the lads I think the work rate the effort from the players has shown there that they're really really fighting for the club and the badge um, so I think that deserves the support of when people can make it you know um, obviously within their means it'd be great to have them down there down in Bray, it's an easier place to get to, obviously, but the uh, with the fans being under under the stand, there was an atmosphere created that was really, really good, particularly in those last few moments of the game, and, and obviously getting the winner was fantastic, so um, it'd be great. I was just saying to, you know, the lads over the far side, you know, keep coming, keep getting the people out, be, uh, it's great for the players, and, you know, we're not... You know, we've only lost one game all season, so we're, we're picking up results in every game so far. So hopefully that continues over the next weekend. Thanks, Gary.